there in the run. Unfortunately, most of the running was done by the time uh, before the rain or the wind got here. It was a real guster today. Yeah, it was. You know, it started off pretty light this morning, had a little bit of rain, and then the rain stopped and the wind started after the noon right, hour, and right. it really picked up. In oh. fact, this was, this was the second windiest uh, day this season for Portland. We have to go back to December 11th where we saw gusts a little bit higher than this, and that was at 67 miles per hour. We have a video uh, from Vancouver today. This was near the Evergreen neighborhood. Uh, this sent in by Jeff Keys. Now, watch the tree topple over with these winds. Of course, you have to factor in also that the ground is very saturated and these roots, of course, are shallow. And, uh, you know, a lot of these trees cannot uh, hold their, their own when you have windy conditions like this under saturated ground. So that's a big tree there. It's really a shame to see that go down. I want to thank uh, Jeff for sending that in again. That, that was up in Vancouver today. And check out some of the other damage that we saw. This was a, a windbroken tree sent in by Leanne Roland. Now, I don't know the location of that one. This here was sent in uh, by Jennifer Campbell of a local tree uh, laying over the street and luckily that didn't hit any cars because we saw lots of car damage today but check out this this was sent in by Salem Michael sent this in of that large tree that toppled over there on the street so again it was a very rough day today let's talk about the wind gusts we hit 67 in Astoria Aurora hit 59 miles per hour and again Portland 58 at the airport Salem you uh, made it just the same at 58 miles per hour in Vancouver you had gusts to 46 miles per hour out towards the coast. Lincoln City hit 74 miles per hour, where Newport hit 68. Newburgh Mountain at 65 miles per hour, and even Happy Valley 51, and Troutdale at 49. So again, this system really ramped up at the last minute, right when it made landfall to Washington, and that's why we saw all these high gusts. Now this evening, we're getting a lot better news. Notice how the winds are much lighter down to the south, still a little bit gusty up towards Cannon Beach, but really you have to go out east where we're getting higher gusts out towards Pendleton, Hood River right now. Now uh, winds at uh, the west at 16 miles per hour in Madras, right around 23. So let's go back 12 hours and show you the system again. It was an area low pressure that developed along this frontal boundary and made landfall in Washington just shortly after noon today. And you can see the track of it and it just really strengthened as it made landfall. And that's why we, we saw all those uh, wraparound winds coming in from the southwest and the west. Now the radar this evening actually quieting down quite nicely. In fact, skies are clearing out just a few sprinkles mainly along the I-5 corridor up towards Chehalis, but generally we're looking pretty light. Mount Hood Meadows actually saw a few snow flurries today, but this weekend it has been a wet one. In fact, Saturday we saw record rainfall for Troutdale, Portland. We hit 1.44 inches. McMinnville over an inch of rain as well as Vancouver and 1.3 inches in Salem. Now the previous record for Portland was eight uh, tenths of an inch back in 1967 and then we did it again today. In fact, we hit uh, just shy of an inch of rainfall for Portland today. The old record was back in 1946 at 88 hundredths. So far since Friday night, we've picked up 2.44 inches of rain and the normal uh, rainfall for Portland for the month of March is 3.68. So let's look outside right now. Much quieter, like I mentioned. Skies have actually cleared out nicely. You can see a few stars up there. Again, we'll see some passing clouds from time to time. We're sitting at 49 degrees, but our high today quite mild at 63 degrees so we were above average so the planner for tomorrow you're going to wake up maybe a few clouds around there could be an isolated sprinkle but generally i think we're going to end up on a sunny note those winds will be generally light and will top off right around 63 for that high so let's time it out for you here's the rain and cloud forecast again nice start tomorrow morning maybe a few clouds into the afternoon hours we dry out nicely our next shot of rain actually comes in on st patrick's day here's 245 in the afternoon so if you're heading out for st patrick's day this systems moving in a little bit faster, so I am including showers, especially in the afternoon hours lasting until the evening. But by the time we roll around to Wednesday, I think we're going to be quite nice as we start to warm up 65 for Wednesday, 66 for your Thursday, and then rain returns by Friday evening. Looks like the shower chances are pretty good there for you on Saturday. I don't think anything major out of that, but it could be wet from time to time, a little bit cooler there, but we bounce back on Sunday with a high near 61 degrees. So really the extended forecast, we're going to keep it on the mild side. Pretty nice there for you St. Patrick's Day. I have to say, I don't think that's really going to hinder people to get out and enjoy it with a few showers. Doesn't around. look like it's going to mess up anybody's week too no, terribly. No, Not nothing like today. Weekend. Nothing like nothing. Well, after today, nothing really does. Right. Today. All right, Riley, thanks very much. Time to fill out your brackets for the NCAA tournament and the Blazers grab a win north of the border.